Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm bringing you another video and that is how to transfer everything from your iPhone to your new Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Now with this, it's very simple. Your new Samsung S7 comes with this beautiful little adapter right here. And this is, you can think of it as a transfer cable, but really it's called an OTG cable or they're just calling it a USB connector, whatever you wanna call it. This little doohickey is going to plug in to your Lightning connector once you get to this screen in your setup. Now, if you're going to a carrier store or a Best Buy or anywhere to set up your phone, make sure they do not skip this step. This is very important and it'll help you get everything over from your old phone to your new phone really quickly. So we're just going to plug this in on the bottom right over here, like so. And then we're going to plug our lightning connector right into the iPhone. Now the iPhone realizes it's connected. It will ask you, is this a trusted device? you will hit yes or allow to trust. And then once that goes, you're gonna hit next on the Samsung device. And it's gonna be connecting to the iOS device. And then it's going to search your entire iPhone and see how much it needs to transfer over everything. So that's what it's doing right now. And as you can see, it is labeled right here that this can take up to 15 minutes. It just really depends on how much content you have on the iPhone. This is a 16 gigabyte model, so it won't take that long. However, if you have the 64 gig or the 128, yes, it can take up to 15 minutes. It clearly just depends on how much uh, storage you have because it will have to scan the entire phone regardless. And that's it. So on our phone, we don't have that much storage as you can see. Uh, the total estimate is only 97 megabits on our iPhone. Uh, we basically take photos, videos, and that's about it uh, on our uh, iPhone on a day-to-day -day basis. But you can see that it will transfer over the app list and you can also see what it could potentially transfer over. Your contacts, your calendar, your memo, your application list, your call log, your block list, that's really nice, actually, that's a new addition. Your block list is even transferred. S bookmarks, clock, Wi-Fi, wallpaper. So yes, it will transfer over your wallpapers. It will transfer over your Wi-Fi connections and your alarms. As you can see here, you can also transfer your text messages, your photos, your videos, your memos for voice memos for your voice recordings, uh, your documents and your music. So we're just gonna hit transfer. And now it's transferring. And it's been transferred. Obviously this is gonna be quicker uh, than you normally would because it's almost no data on here. However, the important thing you have to know about is that it really is very quick when you're transferring over between these two devices. Uh, most phones, uh, about 16 gigs worth, 32 gigs worth, is going to be about seven minutes uh, to eight minutes, can take up to 10 to 20 if you're going from a 128 gig. Uh, and if you're wondering, well, this is only a 32 gig model, if you put in a micro SD card, it will take the 128 because it will split it between the memory card that you purchased and the S7 Edge itself or the S7. Hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y the Android guy.